And there's the site of the big game, Vince Lombardi and the Papa Bad George Hallis. They weren't there, but it felt like there was, as Brett Favre leading the charge. And the Packers came out. Well, what they wanted to do was get up on the offensively challenged Bears, and they did. Favre to Antonio Freeman, that's 33 yards. Later in the drive here, opening drive of the game, Favre to Freeman, touchdown to the pack, showing authority out of the gates. They lead it seven to nothing. But speaking of authority, how about Brian Erlocker and Tommy? The closing speed of this man is incredible. Yeah, known as the delay blitz, you saw him wait to make sure the back was blocking, and then that last 10 yards from him to Brent Favre, he does it in what seems like Unreal. about two steps. And then, watch Erlocker here, but boom, and then turn on the Jets! With seconds left to go in the half, Erlocker is down the sidelines, inside the 20. What a big play! And you saw the jawing between the two of them before. They know Sapp is leaving the division. Erlocker is coming in, so they're going to jaw kind of friendly. But the Bears cannot capitalize. Jim Miller to David Terrell, incomplete. They try the same play on the next play, just seconds. And ago. understand that Miller's throwing this ball to the back corner of the end zone. That's where he expects the receiver to be. So the Bears are forced to try a field goal, 23 yards for Paul Edinger. And this isn't even a good corner kick in soccer. That was pathetic. And so the Bears get the big play, and they trail at 7 of The Papa Bears says, what's going on here? <laughs> but to Chicago's credit, they came out smoking in the opening drive of the third quarter. Anthony Thomas, the A-trade, 19-yard touchdown. We are tied at seven, and he had blocking to spring him. Yeah, number 71, James Big Cat Williams, a great job of blocking and sealing off the outside, getting a lane for the A-train. Who's on the sidelines for the Packers? Let's play some defense. The Minister of Defense, Reggie White. And Bernardo Harris must have got the vibes. Yeah, he almost takes the handoff right here, and amazing that Jim Miller was actually able to hold on to that ball. But we have a 7-7 game, and so midway through the third quarter, Brett Favre, shadow of his own goal post up the Bears, did an excellent job of punting it deep to Bubba Franks, the tight end, 20 yards, breathing room. Third and eight, Favre. Corey Bradford has fine catch for 16 yards. Next play. Watch the speed of Amon Green and watch the speed of number 30, Mike Brown. Two fine plays by those guys, but it's 29 yards. And then did I say speed? Amon Green to the left, whoop, makes the move. And in the shadows, standing in the shadows of love, it's a touchdown. 91-yard drive on nine plays, capped off by Green's 12-yard run, 14-7. Field goal Packers, 17-7. Fourth and five, Jim Miller. Two and a half to go up there. It's incomplete. It's not an interception incomplete. And you know who loves it the most? Vince Lombardi. The Green Bay Packers have equaled the Chicago Bears at 9 and 3. They are now tied atop the NFC Norris division. But it's the Packers who have swept the Bears. So any tie really goes to Green Bay. So the record's the same. Tiebreaker goes pack. Here's Sal Palantonio at Lambeau with Darren Church.